Just plugging these bad boys in. Gerb in. XRLs just plugged in now. Let's see if they light up. Herber. Yes, they're on blue, amber, red. So let's see. What do these gloves are like. Right, I'll tell you. Oh my gosh, I can feel it instantly. Oh my days, brother. One of them, other. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm, because can I hit it? So, first impressions. I unboxed them yesterday. Um, I feel quite thick and well made. Usually, new gloves, in my opinion, I'm like, oh, I hate new gloves. Because I'm quite stiff, and yeah, these are stiffish, but you can still sort of use them. Now, they're on red. As you can see there, you can see on the camera, it's on red. Now, like I say, everybody who knows me, I feel the cold. Extremely feel the cold, so anything heated, got to be a balance. But my hands at this present moment, I don't know what the uh, temperature is outside as. It's chilly this morning. No, I wouldn't say it's really cold, but I'm actually going down the motorway now to meet up with you. Maverick and Viper to head over to uh, a calf. So I thought ideal time to test these babies out. But first impression so far, you can feel the heat already all the way. They just feel like snug. You know, when you mean bed and you're at the right temperature. Oh yeah, and the dark, I just can't believe how comfortable they are. To be honest. I mean, when you put them on at first, you think, oh, these feel a bit big and thick and that. But to be honest, they, they work well on the handlebars. They're not like really, but I think it's something to do with the lever, I think. I have no trouble squeezing my clutch in or anything. Usually with new gloves, I'm like, oh, the lever, you've got to break them in. But to be honest, I looked at the reviews on them. Everybody give them a five star, but somebody did say on the review uh, when I bought them said so they'd never buy another pair of heated gloves. But then apparently it did buy another pair of heated gloves, but there was the same ones <laughs> for spares because it was that good. But I used to commute years back for five years, and things that caught me the most was my hands and my feet. I'd never get my feet warm. And I'm sure Gerbing do um, eated socks, so I might look at getting some of them. And then I think that's the only thing that stops me riding in the cold, colder months. I don't mind the rain, I ain't got a problem with the rain, it's a cold. So I'll think I might look at the socks as well. But I'll tell you what, these are I'm not bothering going straight to like the medium setting or the, uh, the lower setting. What's the point? It's cold outside. You want the heat on your mate? Good morning, well it's lovely, October the 16th morning, we're on 7 degrees, it's my brother's birthday, happy birthday at Broski, right, we are sporting today, road skin, double A rated armoured hoodie, and underneath I've got my Gerbing heated jacket liner, and also my Gerbing XRL heated gloves, so, we are going to meet Goose and Viper and we 
are going to meet Albie. Goose has bought an exhaust for this project bike, but it was down by uh, where Albie lives, so Albie picked it up for him. So we're going to meet Albie, so Goose can get the exhaust. I'm going to have a bit of brekkie while we're there. So we're heading just not far, only an hour away, just south. South of Stratford, Leamington Spa, Royal Leamington Spa area, Warwickshire. Now I don't normally wear heated clothing in this temperature, I'm normally quite fine with colder temperatures, but what I wanted to do, obviously because we're doing the motorway, and obviously you can get a bit, uh, a bit cold and windy on the motorway, so I thought I wanted to try out this double A rated road skin zip hoodie on the motorway. This is our normal departure lounge for when we head motorway routage. That over there is if we're heading anywhere to Wales. Here's my plug off my jacket. I'll plug that into there for my Gerben heated jacket liner and my gloves. My gloves plug into here so all the wiring feeds into the jacket so it's only one connector off the jacket. But I'll tell you what I did do. I listened to Maverick yesterday and he says, Goof, says, what you gotta do, wire him to the battery. I says, oh, okay. He says, I'm already fused up and that. Yeah, because she comes with all different type fuses, different writing, so I have just put a 7.5 in. Don't know if that's right because I got caught out just. I was, um, Plugged everything in, I plugged them on. Gloves wouldn't come on the phone. Huh? Only one thing for you. Fuse. I can hear somebody. Yo, blood. It's the goose farter I just, router. I was just talking about you, yeah, actually, on here, because you know oh, what? Oh, what's new? Right, I just says on camera, the, I says Maverick. Told what's, me going just, what's going on here, goose? Oh, no. Oh, I've just Go been on, talking sorry. about. Just been talking about these bad boy them beautiful are they they're good aren't they i told yeah. you would like them but school by error this morning what you done i was listening to you connected them all up put them on they light up now what why did I, what, what did i say did i say press an old i pressed an old don't come on no, there's no fusing. You says the fuse was already in there, you uh, pigeon. So oh, I you had have to, to pick a fuse. I had to go back up home because <laughs> <laughs> and get a fuse. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I, I don't remember pulling a fuse in, boys. That's why I just assumed the fuse was already in. So where are you wired then? Just there, to come out there. So I'll just unplug now. You know where you might be easier? I don't know. Is here. Because you might find there, because that's a bit stretched. If you move a bit, you might unplug yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'd go like that. Yeah, it don't really matter. Yeah, I'd yeah, pull that. that in a bit. Yeah, yeah. And I'd do them there. Yeah, I'll and do good, there though, for today. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Gerbing XRLs. Morning, all. Just going down to uh, our usual meeting spot. M5 Junction 3 to meet the others, because we're off for breakfast down there, well, with Albie, somewhere in halfway in between, I think. And it's lovely out today, 12 degrees. Doesn't feel cold at all. But saying that, I've got all my long johns, all my thermals, a heated waistcoat, which isn't actually on at the moment. T-shirt, long sleeve top. So I can hear someone on the intercom. You go and I'll just follow. Right, let's go meet Albie. Oh, my hands are lovely and warm now. So although we've had a cold day, it's the, the wind on a motorway, what can make you cold?
a bit of countryside. Clean the mind. Who's all done it there? Look at that. Oh, well, that's older than Vic. Oh, I don't need my heated, heated grips on anymore. My hands are too hot. Turn them off. Oh! oh. 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 I need to charge it. Oh! Dude! Oh. How's it going, mate? Oh, yeah, they're just going to go. Right, let's do. Cheers for the bringing the exhaust. Here we are, big goose. We've got Albie on his machine, and we're with Viper. And we are at. It's called the Long Itch Diner. So we thought we'd come and meet Albie. Albie's bought Goose's exhaust for his project bike. Auto. We can change. Change down. Yeah. Front change up. Oh, it's paddle shift. Yeah, paddle shift. Do manual or automatic. Yeah. You want to do. <laughs> oh, so it's actually got no no gear lever as well then. So you can have it in manual to do the paddle. Yeah. Auto and do a picture that way as well. You can actually change it in Don't worry about it. Patches free, please. Oh, look at that. Patches are free, make a donation to the bikes. Yeah, patch. For a donation to blood bikers. Do you have a pack? Yeah, he's a blood biker. Our man here. Oh, right, yeah, he's a blood right. biker. Right. Um, I would like a traditional breakfast, please. Yeah. Make that too. Can I swap my mushroom for an extra egg? Yeah. Thank you very much. Actually, I'll do the, I'll do the same. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, black coffee for me, please. Uh, do you want any sugar? No, thank you. i enough. <laughs> I will in my tea, I'll have two. He's not as sweet as me. I've got sweet too. <laughs> yeah, I'll come and grab some. You got it? Uh, there's a blood point that says make a donation and have a free patch. Yeah, I'll have some challenge Yeah, I'll put my quid in the tip jar. Yeah, red, boys. Uh, red, please, for me. Uh, red, please. None for me. Yeah. 
Sì, vedi la buona lei. Due asini, si sono fatti Like literally just lie down. You could actually, if that's it, if you put fold that safe light, you can sleep in there. Yeah, because I bet the position of that is, I bet you're well. If you had an head rest on that, yeah, yeah. Keep scared of me. Little set of curtains down the side. Take your phone, take your phone, don't the wind. Have you seen it? You sitting in it. Which way are you going? Go that way See you soon. There goes Albie. Oh, Look at this. Look at this that noise. Look at the colour of this. Yeah, let me just move that. Seat on it. Can have for the seat. There you go. That's our man Tony. I'll just give him the card. Right then. Let's make tracks. He was just telling me about the side car actually. Um, he bought it Good Friday, but he wants to sell it. He says the sidecar is older than the bike. I'd love to have a go in there. What we'll have to do is to our man Tony over there. Tony, I've, he's just said the name. Tony, when you watch this video, mate, before you get rid of that bike, Contact us, we need to make a video. We need goose in the sidecar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I'm the stupid one in the group. But yeah, he's been driven about in that. Yeah, be great. So, Tony. Yeah, Tony. But while you're rolling your fag, mate, will you watch this back? Get in contact. <coughs> We'll arrange to meet up, and what we'll do, we'll get the GoPros inside the sidecar, <laughs> so we can we can uh, film Goosey's face as you do. Vi video the fear on his face. <laughs> yeah. Video him as he does 120 round in Ireland. <laughs> on two on two wheels up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be oh, it'd be great in there. Oh, great, not bad. Which way are we going back? The way we came. Yeah. What a little door that was, the Lung Itch. Lung Itchington, oh that's why. The area is called Itchington. I wonder what it meant when he said it was a Lung Itch. I thought I was talking about you, Goose. The Lung Itchy one. Right, I'm going to get off at Junction 4 and go via towards Kidderminster Way to get home. Okie okay, So I'll go cross country right, I ain't going through Stavridge again. Uh, pl pleasure having breakfast with you. Yes, and likewise. I enjoyed that breakfast, we'll have to go there yep. again. Yeah, let's, let's uh, sort another one. Let's uh, pick Traffic another dry, another dry weekend. We'll have yeah, to pop down again. Well, like I say, it's only a few hours out of the day, isn't yeah. it? So it's it's in at home. I mean, you, you could even go earlier and be back for dinner time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's only an hour away from Albie as yeah. well, isn't it? So. Yeah. Right, so, have a good afternoon then, and okay, I'll speak okay. to you later, yeah? Speak to you later. See you later. Bye. Yeah, so would you watch this back, Tony? We'll, uh, we'll have to arrange to meet you there again. Before Christmas, we'll come back down. Let's take us out. Do a little... Uh, 
fairground ride in the sidecar. Actually, I bet Viper could sit in that. And I bet he's headed behind the sunroof. Well, that's it. That's our little autumn breakfast ride out with the goose staff Viper to meet Alby. It's been a lovely morning. Nice and sunny. So, till the next one. Oosh! Is your, cam is your camera stud? Has it gone, has it? Done.